Hello, this is Josh of the Valiant Gamers, and this is more desktop dungeons. I uh, thought about it a little bit more after I finished with my little thief run-through, which unfortunately did not go so well. And with all those wraiths running around, I think a priest would be the way to go. With that, their, uh, their bonus against the undead, and the health potions, which are 100% effective, and bonus health, I, I think it's going to be a good thing. And just to get the most out of the bonus health, I think I'm going to go Dwarf. Just, you know, for fun. Alright, and uh, here we go. Normal dungeon, begin. Oh, perfect. I'm right next to a level 1 zombie. That's just awesome. Easy points. And uh, some gold right here. A health bonus. A meat man. Um, he's dead. A mana bonus. A health potion. A goblin. This is going really smoothly. Like I'm, I'm liking the fact that I'm getting lots of nice, easy monsters to start with. Hello, Wraith at level nine. I'm gonna go this way instead. A gold piece. More zombies. Unfortunately, these zombies still do way too much damage for me. So warlock. That's great. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, well, uh, I guess it was not to last. We got gold. We're going to go down this way. A wraith at level six. Oh, look, I found a boss. Look at you, ungrateful one. You have life and blood and color. I wish to master the dungeon where others have perished. I shall drag you to the grave and make you suffer as I do. Regards, the tormented one. I like the fact that all these bosses talk in letter form with a signature at the bottom. That's kind of nice. And look, it's a boss wraith. That's actually rather convenient for me. What do you do? What do you have to say for yourself? 60 attack power, 190 HP. Um, it is undead, has a magical attack, mana burn, physical resistance, 60%. Well, uh, that's, uh, I'm going to do a little less damage than normal. So uh, let's go this way and hope I find something to deal with that. 11. He will kill me in two hits, and I cannot possibly hope to beat him, so let's go this way. A meat man! Can I beat this guy? I don't think I can. He will kill me in three hits. I will not kill him anywhere near that much. I could kill him using my health potions, but I'd rather avoid doing that. Hello, victory for me. I need a level up! Look, a zombie! I've got a level up! Okay, now I can fight this meat man. Probably. Five... Five attack power. He will kill me in five turns. I will kill him in f five. Shoot. Well, hmm, okay. Let's uh, go looking over here, Mana Potion. Man, I am not having good luck with monster drops. It looked nice at, be at the beginning. I win. No Mana Burn for me. But it's not actually that nice. Which is unfortunate. I can kill him if I just use a, a Health Potion, but I'd rather save him. So let oh look at all of this gold. That is crazy. I just picked up a whole bunch of gold all at once. An attack bonus. An attack bonus. I think that's enough to kill him. It is enough to kill him. I'm gonna kill him. One and a two and a three and a four. Nice. I got extra experience for killing him early. Um Ding and a ding and another attack bonus. That's awesome. And to end this wall, I'm going to pick that up just because I have nothing else to worry about, really. Uh, another health bonus. That's nice. And uh, instant victory for me. That's nice. Let's get that. Let's get that. Lots of gold all over the place in this dungeon. That's pretty... Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, Dracul. Who is Dracul? Another new one. This is an altar to Dracul the Undying, master of necromancy and for forbidden magic. The grave is his home... The undead are his servants, and holy magic is his enemy. This sounds like nothing I want to be a part of. Followers are drawn ever closer to death, blah 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 blah. Subtract 5 max health and current HP to current HP to 1. <laughs> 5 max mana, subtract 5 max health. 20 bonus damage, subtract 5 max... Wow, this... Wow, actually... Wow. Hmm. Huh. So, that's interesting. A dwarven priest who will gain lots of bonus health by leveling up and converting and can add 10 maximum health 
will get a lot of mileage out of Dracul. I'm just wondering about my uh, my piety. Like, wow, that's um, bizarre. I can probably beat this guy. I can kill him in two hits. He cannot kill me in two hits. I'm going to kill him. Yay, I win. And I leveled up. And now I'm level three. And now I should start looking at some of these some of these undead critters. This guy can kill me in two hits. I do double damage against undead. So I will do, what, 36 per hit? Wow, I could get a lot of bonus experience right away by fighting him. Uh, hmm, that's something to think about. Oh, but look, level one meat man. I'm going to kill him first. Oh, look, a goblin. He can... Hmm. I will kill him in two hits. Will he kill me in two hits? No, he will not. And I win again. Now, see, this is more like it. Why couldn't I have killed... Why couldn't I have done this earlier? This guy will kill me in two hits. Let's ex... Uh, let's go explore something so that I can gain some health back really quick. Ding. And, um, uh, ding. And you know what? We're gonna kill this guy right away. One. And, you know, I think we're going to go back and uh, rip this zombie a new one. Because so I have 20... Oh, man, that white, that white hit me. Or Wraith, rather. Wraith hit me. It's not a white. It's different than that. Hello, level 1 zombie. I'm going to kill you. For lols. Okay, let's... I love the path. Look at this. Look at it. It looks, looks like a cannon. Like, I'm going to take the cannon path. Go back over here. And I can totally kill this guy. He's not going to kill me in two hits. And I am totally going to wreck his wreck his face. So I'm level four. I'm going to kill this guy without even blinking. You know, I can probably start killing these, these wraiths. 24. I will kill him in a single blow. But he will mana burn me. But I don't really care because he's level six. And that's a lot of bonus experience. I'm not going to kill it. Oh, he has physical resistance. Oh, darn it. Oh, well, I'm still going to win. So, there he goes. He's dead. I'm almost dead, too, though. That's unfortunate. I forgot that rays have magical resistance, which is... Or physical resistance, which is kind of... Kind of pathetic, because that's kind of their shtick. But, uh, I'm not regaining much much health per little dungeon tile. And there are a lot of not... Can, not cooperative dungeon tiles here. That makes me very sad. But, um, hmm. This guy will kill me in two hits. But, um... I won't kill him in two hits, so never mind, let's leave that alone. Oh! 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 Wow, okay, um, that was a little a little short of time. <laughs> I was... Well, there goes my great plans. My pot pie is done in the in the kitchen, but, um... I still... I have only been recording for almost eight minutes now, so, you know, I'm just gonna keep going and get it later. It'll... it'll cool a little bit. I love biceps! Oh my goodness, I love this thing. It's so helpful. And look, a little a little wraith, which is going to die. And a mana potion. Dang it. Attack bonus, though. I will take that. And I will run with it. I will run all the way over here with it to, uh, to destroy this meat man, who I probably should have killed last level. But whatever. One, two, three. Look at that. I win. And one, and two. Ooh, look, a zombie. Look, he's dead. <laughs> um, I can probably kill this guy. Very quickly, but um, not immediately. So I'm gonna go over this way. This way. A little heal, a little heal, a zombie, a little heal, a little heal. Ooh, a level eight meat man. Why are meat men not like undead or something fancy? Because they're made of meat. This meat man. I don't know. I don't know about this meat man. He's kind of creepy. But uh, hello, mana bonus. I'm gonna kit you later. Because right now, I think what I want to do is kill this zombie so I can get some bonus experience. And I'll kill him in two hits, and he won't kill me in two hits. So one, two. I'm almost dead, so I'm going to go pick this up and gain a whole lot of experience right back. Uh, and Binlor Bin Iron Shield, which will be the last thing I do in this video. The craftsmanship of this bronze altar must be the work of Binlor Iron Shield's followers. An industrious metal worker, Binlor is the patron of miners, traders, and anyone who regularly aids progress in industry. Preferably without the aid of magic. So he's the technological... Oh my goodness, he gives me five extra health. Wow. Uh, hmm. Oh! If I convert to the Earth Mother, I will lose piety, so whatever. Uh, boon mining? Destroy random chunks of dungeon wall for easier exploration. Res set my physical resistance to 25%. Too bad the boss of this stage has magical, magical attack. Level 10 for the piety. Okay. Hmm. 
I don't know, this guy's kind of boring, but I am out of time, so this has been Josh of the Valiant Gamers. Catch you later.